Truck drivers, what's a creepy story you've got from the middle of nowhere? Not sure if this story is creepy but it's definitely scary. My father was a truck driver in East Africa in the 80s and early 90s. During the years leading up to the Rwandan genocide, my father was passing through Rwanda. He reached a checkpoint and was forcibly removed from his truck at gunpoint. Apparently he looked like he belonged to the Tutsi tribe and they put him in a cage with other Tutsi prisoners. He tried communicating that he isn't Rwandan but no one spoke the same language as him. Every night they would take about five people from the cage and slaughter them in front of him. After the third night, he saw a man that spoke a little bit of Swahili, which my dad spoke, and told him that he's not Rwandan and showed him his ID. Somehow that guy got him out and he was handed the keys to his truck and was on his way. Driving through an abandoned section of Baltimore at 3 in the morning, my CB radio turned itself on and crackled for a bit. Out of nowhere some voice over the radio said in a deep southern drawl, I ain't got no panties on. I could see up and down the interstate for miles and saw not one set of headlights. Years ago I read an answer on a thread with this question, about a guy who was riding with his truck driver father as a child, they were in the middle of nowhere and they were coming up on a person laying in the road with no one else around no cars, etc. His dad blew the horn, they didn't move, he blew it again as he got closer, they didn't move, he told his son to put his head down and cover his eyes and he ran the person over. When they looked back a bunch of people who were previously hiding were running out of the woods and the gist was that his dad knew it was a setup for a robbery or worse and wasn't chancing it with his child in the car. No clue if it was true or not, but I think about that story all the time. driving through a national park in the middle of the night going through a slow stretch at about 30 km per hour. Every so often I think I see something put the my window and beside me. Just a glimpse of movement. When I look though I don't catch it. Finally on about the third time I whip my head around and this time I recognize it's a huge black wolf following alongside my truck just off the highway. I only saw it for a few seconds before I had to focus back on the road but it was absolutely lovely yet unsettling. Not a truck driver but I've spent the past four years driving every day slash night for work. I was in a fairly rural part of Mississippi somewhere between Clarksdale and Greenwood, important note it's all two lane highway the 250 mile drive home. The weather had turned pretty sour as I was leaving Clarksdale. I called my wife told her there was high wind advisories and very possible tornado threats throughout the delta and I'd call her as soon as I made it to a safe area again. I had already been working for 14 hours when I got in the truck so I had ate dinner and grabbed some coffee to stay awake and alert. Now, if you've never driven through flat farmland at night for 100 miles, it's very fatiguing and spooky without inclement weather I had driven maybe 30 miles out into the farmland when hail started bouncing off my truck, being a MS native I knew in July hail meant tornado. I pull off to the side, I'm in the middle of nowhere no lights to be seen no cars behind or in front of me and start looking for the storm slash tornado I believe is approaching. I rolled the passenger window down and shined a bright flashlight off into the night. Nothing there. Turn to the driver side and this guy has his face pushed against the glass. Grinning from ear to ear. I screamed and he was gone. I slammed the truck in drive and took off. We have all the time running cameras on our trucks. I got to the first safe place to stop and called my wife. I didn't want to scare her so I didn't mention the guy or the hailstorm. I did however pull the SD card and check the cameras. I promise you this guy never popped up on my front or rear cameras. I've always played it off as my imagination. I will say I don't drive through the Delta in the dark anymore if I don't absolutely have to. Not technically a truck driver but my cousin works at a truck stop in Kansas. She told me about some guy who parked his truck and got out. A woman got out of the passenger seat. It was kinda cold so the trucker was wearing a coat and hat. But the woman was wearing summer cloths. My cousin thought nothing of it and did her whole high welcome in. The trucker bought a coffee but the woman just stood there in the doorway. Now my cousin was freaked out. She didn't want to be rude but she was a teenage girl alone in a gas station in the middle of nowhere. Excuse me miss, do you need anything? She asked. Who are you talking to? The truck driver asked when he got to the checkout. The woman who got out of your truck? My cousin pointed but the woman had disappeared. She told me she had never seen a look of pure terror on a man's face. He just whispered a quiet oh no. Got his coffee and left. The woman did not get back into his truck and my cousin couldn't find her in the store. She says it was one of the most terrifying experiences she had ever had while on that job.
the obligatory not a truck driver but a second-hand story I heard. My great-uncle drove big trucks, living in the middle of nowhere sometimes people would leave trash on the road. And since he had a big truck he'd just smash into said boxes or paper and continue on. One day he was coming up on a cardboard box and just had the urge to swerve and miss this one, he misses it and passes by with no incident, looks in his rear view to look at the box and out pops a kindergarten age little kid. That just heads back to their house as nothing happened. My uncle was driving between Great Falls and Helena at around 3 a.m., he had his high beams on as it was a lonely drive and quiet highway. In the distance he saw something cross the median and started to slow his approach, thinking it was a deer. As he got closer, he realized it was standing up and so he slowed down to about 30 miles per hour. He realized what it was and started to panic, a man in blue coveralls with a pig's head. Not a mask, but literally the head of a pig on his shoulder. My uncle moved to the left lane and as he passed, pig had lunged at the truck. My uncle didn't stop to check if he'd grabbed on till he was in the safety of Helena. Nothing was out of the ordinary there but on that stretch of road now, he doesn't slow down for anything. FedEx contractor, I'm in one of those big box trucks. Anyways, I finished a long delivery day, and I swear to whatever ducking gods you believe in that I was hearing voices in my cab. It wasn't the radio, it wasn't my tinnitus, it wasn't my subconscious, I was hearing whispered voices in my right ear that were coming from the passenger seat. The voices continued even after I had gotten back to my hub, clocked out, and hopped in my own car to go home. They only stopped when I left the parking lot. It only happened that night. I still have no ducking idea what the hell it was because I had ruled everything else out. I'm not a truck driver but the story is from a truck driver. I was working the overnight shift from Friday night into Saturday morning at a gas station. At about 6 a.m. a semi pulls into the fuel aisle. Driver gets out and almost runs into the store clearly shaken. His face is completely white and he is obviously upset. My first thought was the poor man had hit someone on the road, we get a lot of drunks walking across a four lane highway in front of the store. So I ask what's wrong. He looks at me for a second and is like, I'm not crazy now I'm thinking great I'm here all alone and this guy is losing it. I say of course not. I just saw something huge on the side of the road. Like a deer or bear? We had a bear get in the dumpster last week. No bigger than a bear on its back legs. Maybe a big person? It picked up a dead buck on the side of the road and carried it over its shoulder into the woods. I can only stare at him, my brain cannot deal with this information this late in a shift. A local comes up to the counter to get his usual and the guy tells him the story the local says, that's the Bigfoot that lives near the county line. The truck driver and I are both looking at this guy like he has two heads. He has to be joking. This trucker pays for his fuel at record speed and leaves never to be seen again. The local still insists it's Bigfoot. I just don't got in the woods cause I don't know. Not a trucker, but I had a college teammate from Miami tell a story that he swears on to this day. He and his girlfriend were making the drive to Naples late night, on a two-lane road through the Everglades, and had been in a line of cars behind an 18-wheeler for multiple miles. She fell asleep and he was surfing for something to listen to on the radio. Only one station came in clearly enough to be tolerable. So he gave it a listen. The DJ came on and said something along the lines of the stars are extra bright in the Everglades tonight. If you're driving through there, pull off and take a look. He said he normally wouldn't even think of it, but for some reason felt compelled to that night. He woke up his girlfriend, she was annoyed and didn't want to, but he convinced her it would be worth it. They stopped and just took in the stars for 5 to 10 minutes. He said it was the most amazing sky he's ever seen. They get back on the road and drive another few minutes and come across a massive accident. The truck they were following had jackknifed and took out a handful of vehicles that were following. He said there are multiple fatalities, but I've never been able to find a new story about it to confirm, probably would have been in 2005-ish. They most likely would have been involved if not for that random DJ on the only radio station to come in that night. My father's told me this story maybe a thousand times. My family as well as a couple of uncles and my oldest cousin went on a trip from Mexico City to Acapulco when I was barely a year old. Back home in the middle of the night, ah, the good old days when you could travel at night, the car broke down, and a police car quickly came to our help. There were three policemen in the car, and the chief offered to take my dad to the nearest gas station, where he could find a mechanic, and told the other two officers to stay with our car. My dad says they seem absolutely not pleased with the order, until the chief told them don't worry. There's a woman and two children. 
That seemed to calm the two officers. Driving to the gas station on the police car, my dad asked the chief what was all that about. The chief told him that there had been many accidents in that part of the road, that's why they were able to find our car so quickly. All of the accidents involved young men traveling without female or child company. Those who had survived, said that they crashed because they could see a very beautiful woman next to the road, but once they came close to her, she turned out to be just a rotting corpse staring at them, and they crashed because they were paralyzed by fear. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.